Hi, it's the Easy Math Strategist and today we're going to use the Touch Math method for subtraction. Last time we did Touch Math for addition and we went over our numbers over here. In Touch Math, every number has that many dots. So let's see how that works. The number one has one dot, the number two has two dots, three has three dots, here's four with one, two, three, and four dots. The number five has one, two, three, four, and five dots. Now when we come to six, seven, eight, and nine, we can't just keep putting dots because there's just be too many. So what we do is dots and circles. Let's look. Here's the number six. We have a dot and circle. So we count one for the dot, one for the circle. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. For the number seven, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven here. Let's look at eight. This had uh, dots and circles in all four places. Here's how. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's the number eight. For nine, we start here. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now this is the basis of touch math and you can learn more about it if you go to their website, touch math. Okay, now what do you want to do? You want to practice those numbers. So if you write them down on a piece of paper and try putting touch points on them, then you'll get enough practice that you will remember where those touch points are even without having them on the paper. So if you want to, you can stop the video now and practice a little bit of that. Okay, now how are we going to use that in subtraction? The second thing you need to know in subtraction is how to count backwards because that's what touch subtraction is based on. Think about a microwave. When you put your food in the microwave and you say three minutes, it doesn't go up from there, it starts going down. That's what we're going to do in this. We're going to count backwards like the microwave. So we begin with 10, 10 on backwards. All right, so you can say it with me and you can look over here too. Let's go count backwards from 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Practice that a few times. You can stand by a calendar and you can go by the dates and count backwards from there or you can just count backwards anyway. Once you get good with the tens, then you gotta move a little bit up to 15, okay? Then you can go like this, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And then you wanna go all the way up to 18 and I'll tell you why we don't need 19 later, okay? Let's go up to 18. 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. So you want to practice that a few times. You can do it like a chant. You can do take turns like, you know, with partners and do that. And now I'll show you how that's going to help you with subtraction. Many times students have a difficult time just learning addition and subtraction fla uh, flashcards. So then you need another method, and this will help you because once you have those touch points in your head, even if someone was to hold up a flashcard, you can start at the top number, count backwards because you would know where those dots are, and say the final answer. So let's begin. Suppose our number was four, and we are going to take away three. Four, take away three. Where do the touch points on the three go? Right here. We don't need touch points on the four because you're just counting down. So we'll begin at four, count backwards like this four three two one and the last number that you say that's going to be your answer let's try another one nine take away six and we know that it has dots and circles both let's count backwards from nine nine eight seven six five four three so your answer will be three how about if you have a number like 15, let's see that. Now we are going to take away 
8 from 15. So I write 15 up here minus 8. Now we're not doing any regrouping or borrowing or anything like that. We're just going to go backwards from 15 but let's get a touch points on here first. Here are the touch points dot circle dot circle dot circle dot circle. So remember we counted backwards from 15 for this. Let's go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. Last number I said was 7, so my answer is 7. Let's try one more of these. We go to, uh, I'll go to 18 and then I'll tell you why we don't need 19. Let's try 18, take away 9. We need a smiley face and we need our touch points. And then let's do 19, take away 9. Here are the touch points. All right. First, let's do 18 because we did count backwards from 18, if you remember. Let's go. 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. My answer is 9. Now, when you come to 19, 9 take away 9 is what? If you had 9 candies and you gave all 9 away, you would have 0 left. So 9 take away 9 is 0. And if you do want to do the touch points, you sure could. 9. So then you go 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. The last number you said was 0. So we did the 0. He wrote the 0 here. 1 minus nothing is 1. So our answer would be 10. Okay. How about a 3 digit 1 now? I'll erase this and my number is going to be 499. That's a pretty big number. Minus 150. Eight. And I need my touch points. But did you notice something? So far we have not done any regrouping. And the truth is there is a, uh, I have another video, Easy Math Subtraction Regrouping. That kind of tells you a really interesting story about uh, borrowing sugar to make some cookies and which kind of shows you how you need to regroup in order to subtract. Let's see what we do over here. We go up and down in the columns. So let's begin with the ones place value. 9 take away 8. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You have write the 1 over here. Let's go to the middle one, the 10s. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Your answer here is 4. And the last one is 4, 3. So when you subtract 499, take away 158, your answer is 341. See how easy that was? Now give yourself some uh, problems like this. Practice those touch points like I showed you too. And then keep practicing subtraction either this way or with flashcards. So enjoy subtraction with touch points.